Good morning. Welcome to another episode of No Time to Be Hungry. Today we are cooking in Fan Maon's house. Maon was Makroa, which means chef in Thai. She, uh, I would say she's retired, but she's not because she cook at home now. So today we are making Wani Tamalai. Masaman Kai. Masaman Kai. One of my favorite aloe hisu. Anyway, she's going to show us how to make it, and we're actually going to have that for dinner tonight for Ahan Yen. Ahan Yen. Okay, so let's look and see what ingredients we have here for the Masaman. Okay, here we have the chicken guy, which is uh, mostly, what is that? One, nung, nung, song lo, song, two, kilo. two kilos of chicken, hong mm -hmm. hua yai, yeah. which is onion, <laughs> and this is man phalang, man phalang. <laughs> and the little boys here. Always little boys running around Thailand. Which is potato, obviously. Now this is kati, which is kati, kati, which is coconut milk. And there's Paul Sid. Now, my, now, my, my now, lawn. Paul Sid and Manitnoi. Popkan Ahanyen. Okay. My yen kap lawn. Yen Thai Lao. And we have some glue, yeah. some Nung salt. Nung chon. Nung chon. One, one uh. tablespoon of salt. Nam tan, song chon. So, two tablespoons of uh. sugar. Nam pa, song chon. Two tablespoons of fish sauce. Uh. Tua. To peanut. Uh, Sam kid. 300 grams of Peas. peanuts. And this is. Pick gang Pick gang masaman. And uh, this is what gives it all of its flavor, the seasoning right there. And did you did she make this or you buy it? Tam Ang Mai? Su. Okay. Sai Tong. She bought it at the market in a plastic bag. So, but it's Pick gang is what it is. So. And we are going to get everything prepared and we're going to cook it. How long does it take Yi Yi Chamon said? Nung Chamon. Nung Chamon said, but we're going to let it stew in the pot for dinner tonight. And yeah, okay, let's get started. Uh, how much co uh, coconut milk is that? One kilo of coconut milk. Okay, on the coconut milk, we have to get it warm, get it just before it starts to boil, and then stir it up and make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. In Thai language, they call it stack man. Right before the oil starts to come away from the milk, that is, that's when it's going to be done. But you keep stirring it, and then, and now we're gonna, inst now we're gonna put in the plik gang masaman masaman curry, masaman curry paste, plik gang. Man, I wish you guys could smell that. That smells awesome. 
So this is a spicy mix. Of course, if you want more spice, you can add pepper later. Smells so good right now. Calm. <sighs> Quiet chicken, you're next. <laughs> okay, in goes the fish sauce. And there goes the salt. And the sugar. It's all ways to taste. So those are the basic ingredients. And later on, she'll taste it after it's been cooking for about an hour and then add in whatever little bit more she feels like it needs. So now we've got some, this is more like coconut water. It's not as rich as the milk, but now that this is all been blended in and thick, she's gonna add that because we need more liquid for the potatoes. Wow. <laughs> okay. next, next, we have the peanuts. And the onions. Potatoes. Everything in the pot. Just like a stew. Well, that looks like something I can make. I'm going to make some roti uh, for tonight. That's it finished. So we're going to cover that up. And one hour, sit out. One hour, it'll be finished. But we're going to let it sit in the pot all day until dinner time. So before we come over here, I'm going to make some loti, roti, and uh, Mafia is going to make one of my other most favorite thing is uh, the little fried chicken wings. So, pikai uh, toy, which is a small chicken wing. Heavy duty pot. We're going to come back in an hour and check on it and uh, maybe get a little taste. Well, let's get a taste. Sounds like Maon already tasted it. She's coming out of the house saying how wonderful it tastes. I just smelt it. And uh, you guys smell that? That smells awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to taste it. You have to make a lot of loti. I gotta make a lot of loti tonight. Roti. Okay, real one. Look at that. My cup. This is not man falang. Nit noy. Nam nit noy. We'll save, uh, save it for tonight. Hello, mm. man. I want to eat the chicken, but it's a little too messy right now, so I'll save it. I'll save it for later. <laughs> okay. Let's give it a try. Nice and hot. Seven mm. Seven mm. <laughs> 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 It's amazing, but it's very hot. Hello, <laughs> my. I actually have to make a cake today, but because it was Paul Sun Chai's birthday the other day, so I'm actually going to make a strawberry cake because Mafia always says, I want a coffee cake, but they only pick at it like little birds and they never eat it all. I don't know if I make strawberry, the kids will eat it. So, and the kids don't eat coffee cake. Well, my mother-in-law has already seasoned the chicken wings and she's just letting that sit there. We're gonna fry that up a little bit later. Right now I'm gonna make loti. Now there's all kinds of recipes on the internet for loti. Mine's kind of a combination of a loti and a tortilla. It's how I like it. 
and uh, I've made it for everybody here and they really like the flavor of it. So all I'm really doing right now is I put a little, I put about a quarter teaspoon of table salt. A uh, table <laughs> <laughs> I put about a quarter teaspoon of table salt and a quarter teaspoon of garlic salt because I like the garlicky taste in my and my loti <laughs> and about three cups of all-purpose flour I'm gonna melt some uh, butter now a lot of tortillas and stuff they use lard but I don't like lard so I mean, it's okay, but if I had a choice, I'd rather cook with butter. So I'm melting some butter right now, and then all it's gonna be is some warm water, some butter, and I put an egg in mine, and, uh, and that's it. And now I gotta make a strawberry cake too, but I'm not gonna put that on the video. Um, we'll do a cake later. Mafia just came, she said, all that's on the chicken is pepper. Thick Thai. No chicken seasoning, just pepper as of right now. So what I did was I melted some butter here, a quarter cup of butter, and the rest is water, and I want it to be warm. Okay, right now I'm just gonna add my wet, and then I'm gonna mix this up, and I want it to be kind of firm, and I'm just going to add a little bit water or a little bit flour, whatever I need to get the texture that I want. So all I need now is one egg and I'm gonna mix it all together now. Okay, there it is. That's what I want. Now I'm gonna put this into a, it's really tacky. You can see how, you can see how it's sticking to my finger. But. Okay, that's the start of our roti. We're gonna let that sit for about 45 minutes and then come right back. Okay, now we're gonna let this sit for about another 10 minutes and then make our, like, tortilla. But our roti. Okay, what you need to do after you make your tortilla or your roti is put it in something and cover it up and you want to let it sit for just a few minutes with a bunch of them on top of it and let it get soft and moist before you serve it. Well, we're gonna start frying the chicken now. She just made the batter for it. It's just regular, really regular flour and try to get it a little bit crunchy and some pepper is all she puts in there. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> well, chicken's done. All we need now is my loti. And uh, a couple of utensils. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it like a taco. <laughs> well, guys, I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna enjoy our evening with the family with some awesome masaman chicken and loti and yeah, some fried chicken and what's that dish called? Yeah. Anyway guys, thank you very much for all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. I appreciate that. It helps the channel grow. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, we got a lot of awesome eating, cooking, uh, restaurant adventures coming up. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye.